I'm here with the Olympus Pen EPL5. Now this is a follow-up to the PL3. And although it's got the same sensor built in, there's more megapixels, so you're looking at 16 megapixels on this model compared to about 12 on the last one. And also it's got a much faster processor, so you should be able to get much quicker shots and much more brightness in your low light conditions. They've made some changes to the screen here. It's now a touch screen. And where you used to be able to articulate it before, you can now flip it all the way up so that you can then take a picture of yourself looking back. So you'll be able to see yourself in the screen. So as well as this kind of touch screen, screen control, you've also got the same number of options here in terms of dials. So it's actually complementing rather than replacing the dials that you had on the previous version. You've got some additional art filters now on this model, so things like um, you can change it so it looks like slide shots, or you can also make some adjustments on the touch screen to change colours. So if I press this button here, you've got some options with sliders that you can then use to change the colours, make it brighter. You can also do the same thing to kind of blur the background, so it's getting you into introduced into using the aperture effectively in that case to blur your background or to make it sharper with everything in focus. So that's the EPL5. Now it comes, as you can see here, with this 14 to 42 mil kit lens, and the price on that is 699 euros. So you're looking at around 500 pounds. And it's available now in some places, but we'll expect to see it in the UK more around the middle of October. If you want to find out any more about this camera, go to witch.co.uk. And if you want to give any comments about how you think it will compare to the PL3, also leave a comment below.